interview presented by Canaceutics Medical Dispensary at 4316 Carlisle Boulevard, Suite D, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Cage Minds, Micah Frankel at the Jackson Wink Academy. It's fight week. Peak Fighting Championship is debuting in the Duke City PFC 28 this Saturday. Revel Entertainment Center. Main event is a heavyweight title fight. Cody East is the headliner. Sir, how you doing? Doing great, bro. I'm feeling great. I'm light. I was going to fight at 205 originally, so like at 215 right now, so. So we heard this, your plan and your original plan is dropping and continuing to drop to 205 pounds. How long had that plan been in mind? Uh, it's been like about a year. I started on the weight cut at 310 pounds, so I'm 90 pounds down so far. 310 pounds, like, like what happened? Why'd you get it blow up to that much? I had been on a rough streak on my MMA career and losing my father, losing my dad. I uh, lose my dad and my brother. I kind of lost myself a little bit. I mean, I started drinking and kind of slipping down a slope and I came with Jackson's back. I was like, oh, she's getting shape. And then like, uh, I went there with the high level guys and I was like, I'm fat, but I'm still doing pretty damn good. Maybe I should fight again. So then I started training. I'm like, I'm making a new run at 205. So as you're there, well, let's call it what it was. In, in yeah. your depression. Depression, yes. What? Giving up with myself. I've had a rough run in MMA. I've had some hard calls, made some fight, hard fights and kind of just questioned myself. Like, is this even for me anymore? Like, do I still got it? Can I do this? And kind of just gave up. And now I'm, I'm back better than ever, I believe. You know I mean? Well, I was gonna say, what kind of snapped you out of it, or who? What what was it that got you to take that first step, get off the couch, whatever, and start to get back to training? It's all I know, really. You know what I mean? And uh, one of the things that kept me is my brother. When he'd do good in his life, is when he'd be at the gym. When he wasn't, is how he lost his life. I mean, I didn't want to go on the same track, so I just stayed around the gym. I started coaching more and just coaching and working with kids and motivated me. You know what I mean? So. And working with kids, get right into it. I, I heard that the adaptive MMA program has had a big effect on you personally. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been amazing. I start working with adaptive kids, and uh, some of these days I come to practice, I don't want to train, I don't want to be here, right? And these kids come in, they got disabilities, no arms, no leg, whatever, and uh, they're excited to be here to work with me. And I'm like, why am I being a little crybaby? This kid is look at he has every reason not to want to be here, and he's here. So it made me take like appreciate what I have, the gifts I do have and make the most of it. Also, have to bring it up, when we Google your name, there's some headlines that come up and, and things that you've been a part of that are very negative. What has it been like for you to, to try to grow from those incidences? Uh, I've grown, I mean, I, and what, it, what uh, people have to realize is, if you Google me, you can have all kinds of bad stuff, Cody's done this, Cody's done that, but I've never been convicted of none of it. I mean, I've been in the wrong place, wrong time. I was involved in trouble when I was earlier, so if, if something happened right now, someone got beat up in the gym and they, they say, oh, Cody East was there, guess who the cops probably gonna come talk to first? It'll make the news before it even get, get the facts right. Oh, Cody East was there. And so that's kind of what's been with it. And I, I had to deal with the media and then I go to court and it's like, well, actually it wasn't Cody that did it. This is not how it happened. But so much damage has been done before then. So what I've, difference I've made is not putting myself in those situations at all. I mean, I train, I go home and I'm with my kids. That's it. It's been a little bit of a wild ride here with Peak fighting championships. We know in the fight game, things can change suddenly. We go from Braxton Smith. He gets the call to the UFC. Now it's Wesley Day Almeida. What do you think about this matchup? Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, I don't see nothing too crazy out there for him. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm better than him at everything, I believe. I mean, of course, he has a good record. He has some issues. So maybe he has something waiting for me, but I'm prepared to fight the best version of him. I'm the best version of myself. So I'm better than him. We both show up and do our best, I'm gonna beat him. 90 pounds lighter than you were at your heaviest, and we're talking about a good 50 pounds lighter than your last fight weight? Yeah. And actually, uh, I'm consider I'm weight's been coming off easy, so I'm, I might go to 85. See if you can get all the way I'm down. I'm considering down. going to 85, but those guys are just so fast, but I feel like I'll be strong, I'll be strong at that weight class. Well, what's been some of the keys to, to now being this healthy, getting the weight down so easily? Just eating right, and uh, one of my things was not just fighting. Is when I get older, I want to be the, I want to be active for my kids. I want to be active for my grandkids. So it's not just a fight. It's trying to live a healthy life inside and outside of. I mean, a lot, well, you see a lot of fighters. They they have a fight, they get in shape, and then they get all fat for the next couple months. It's not good for your body. So I just want to be healthy the year round. You've yeah. been this big plotting heavyweight, and I'll be honest with you, we we've seen you with the deep breaths during fights. Yeah. Uh, what difference? 
have you been feeling in training now looking like this? I feel so much better. It's like, uh, I get my kids right and together they're like 80 pounds and I got to carry them both to the parking lot sometimes. And I'm like, God, I'm tired. These things, that was my everyday life walking around without weight. So that puts things in perspective. Like this is how I felt trying to fight carrying an extra 90 pounds. I, I just feel better. I feel light. I feel younger. I feel like I have a chance at regaining a new career and starting to make my last run proper. You know what I mean? And do you feel it, you ha you said you're not a lightning fast guy already, but do you feel now, wow, I I'm so much faster than I ever thought I was? I feel like I'm much faster and I can let my stuff go without having to worry about going to get tired. You know I mean, cause before I was like, well, if I go in, I better knock him out or uh, it's going to be a long night. And I'm guessing, have you felt the power transitioning with you so far? My power stayed this. I'm thinking I'm stronger. stronger. I think I hit harder than I did because I'm faster because speed is power. You know what I mean, I mean, you talk to my coaches and my power has not changed. It's went up if anything. And talking about your coaches, we've seen that there was moments where you're on the rise to the UFC, you yeah. had the hardships since then. Uh, what has the adjustments been like? Because I know there was some adjustments. Well, I got I, I got back with my striking my boxing coach Alfred Alfred Torres. So when me and him were together, I was eight. Me and him together as my cornerman, I had eight. I was eight and zero with him. And him, my other coach had a falling out and yada yada. Whatever happened, I stayed with my coach. And uh, from that moment, my career kind of was up and down and. The things that were missing, so I went back to when I was at my best, and I bring it Alfred back in, and I feel it's made the proper adjustment. So that was one of my biggest differences I made. Kind of went back to what I was doing when, when I was uh, when I was winning and doing good. I mean, I was 12 and one at one time, and my record has really I've been on a hard streak. So Saturday night revel here in front of the hometown audience. What are your expectations? I'm gonna win this fight. I would like to knock him out for you guys. Uh, it just depends on him. If he wants to go to sleep quick, that's good. If he wants to get tortured for five rounds, that's his choice. But you I mean at the end of the night, my hand will be raised, so it just picks how he wants to go down. We'll see you guys all Saturday night at Revel. Thank BFC you. 28.